Ms. Chan. Did the U.S. find any of Netanyahu's remarks yesterday to be false or misleading? I'm not going to parse everything he said uh, or, you know, do a, a fact check here from, from this podium. Um, he, you know, he, he should speak for himself about what his, his views are. He should, but he had a powerful stage, a joint address before Congress. Do you agree with assertions that Iran financially backed some of the protesters, that if there are Palestinians in Gaza who aren't getting enough food, it's not because Israel is blocking it, as two examples? So on the first example, we've said ourselves, the director of national intelligence came out publicly and said that we do know that uh, Iran has been funding and encouraging uh, some of the protest activity here in the United States, some of it. Uh, we do not believe that all the protest activity out there on a daily basis is being fully uh, funded by Iran. Now, there's a lot of organic concern out there in the American people about what's going on in the Middle East, and uh, m most of these protests are, are formed and, and fashioned in that regard. Um, on the second question, uh, it's a... It, there has been an, a, a steady increase of humanitarian assistance getting into Gaza. The problem isn't getting it to Gaza right now. The problem is getting it around Gaza. Um, and one of the reasons why it's so dang difficult to move things around inside Gaza is because there's a war going on and bombs are dropping. Uh, and regrettably, uh, in the conduct of some of their, their recent operations, the Israeli military has, in fact, uh, not on purpose. We have no reason to believe they did this deliberately, but there has been um, accidental uh, strikes on some of the, the trucks and the convoys that have been moving around. Um, so there's, it's, a, it's, not, it's not one or the other. There's a lot of reasons why it's not moving around, and some of that is, of course, the military activity of the Israelis uh, inside Gaza. And then now that the vice president is the likely Democratic nominee, has she communicated with the president whether a Harris administration's Israel policy would be the same or different as his? You would have to talk to the vice president's office uh, and the campaign for that. I would just, before I leave that though, just want to remind, she's been a full partner uh, in uh, our policies in the Middle East, particularly with our policies towards uh, Israel and the war in Gaza, a full partner. Uh, been involved in nearly every conversation that the president has had with the prime minister um, and very much engaged throughout.